Prince William and Catherine will be visiting the islands of Jamaica, Belize, and the Bahamas during a 12-day trip this month. Their tour comes as the country of Jamaica questions whether to become a republic in wake of the racist revelations that were revealed concerning Harry's child as well as various other instances. Jamaica along with several Commonwealth nations are considering cutting ties with the British monarchy. As we all know, the country of Barbados removed the queen as head of state to officially become a republic in November of 2021. Other Caribbean countries are desiring to end their association with Great Britain and its colonialist history. Prince William and his wife, the Duchess of Cambridge, are hoping to charm the islanders and government when they visit the three islands in the coming days. The Prime Minister of Jamaica, Andrew Holness, had this to say right after Barbados became a republic. There is no question that Jamaica has to become a republic. We have put together a plan to move towards that in a way that is meaningful and substantial in function and form. That is what we are going to do. The last time that the royal family paid a visit to Jamaica was in 2012, when Prince Harry conducted a solo trip to the island. There is another instance of Jamaica making a public outcry against Britain's colonialist power, and it has to do with the Order of St. Michael and St. George Badge, an honor that the Queen awards to foreign office officials and British ambassadors. Last year, Jamaican lawyer Clyde Williams discussed the oppressive and supremacist imagery of the badge on his social media. The badge displays a white angel standing on the neck of a chained man with dark skin. Some have likened the imagery to the injustice that occurred with George Floyd, who had his neck stood on. A statement was issued by Jamaican Governor Patrick Allen who said that the badge should be changed to reflect an inclusive image of the shared humanity of all peoples. Soon after, an online petition on change.org followed demanding a redesign of the badge. To date, this petition has gained over 20,500 signatures. Will Prince William and Catherine, as representatives of the British royal family, be able to charm their way back into the hearts of the people of Jamaica and other islands who are trying to decide whether or not they want to leave the Commonwealth? These countries desire changes of supremacist imagery and attitudes that the monarchy has held on to throughout the years. Not only that, the monarchy is not very outspoken on matters of race and have yet to issue a public statement condemning injustices against black people and other people of color. William and Catherine's trip is likely not going to be enough to prevent these countries from parting ways with the monarchy if they don't become more vocal about these topics. They should take a moment to acknowledge their oppressive past as it's really impossible to move forward without acknowledgement of the past. On the announcement of their royal visit, Jamaica was loud and clear in stating that they will not be paying for it. So yes, already there is strong opposition to Kate and Will's visit to these Caribbean islands.